Hillary Clinton's presidential ambitions have an Achilles heel. Emails, lost, found, hacked. Her use of a private email server threatens to derail her campaign. But it's her staff's messages that seem to be in the sights of Russian hackers. Thousands were leaked on this website. It claims to be the work of American patriots, but tonight we expose the hidden Russian links behind this site. More at this hour about an alleged Russian hack the attack. The Russian government is again denying any involvement in the hacking of the Democratic National Committee. In June, the Democratic National Committee revealed the hacking of thousands of staff emails. Those the messages exposed the bitter infighting in the Democrats' leadership battle. So great to have the Partisan mails from the DNC's chairwoman cost her her job. U.S. security chiefs blamed the Russian government. Going after U.S. political organizations is a new aggressive spin on the political cycle. Strenuously denied by the Russians. Well, I don't want to use four letter words. <laughs> but hacking the emails was just the first part of the operation. The second was publishing them. Who did that? Yes, they appeared on WikiLeaks, but it seems a little-known site called DC Leaks beat them to it. So who's behind DC Leaks? This site claims it was launched by American hacktivists who respect and appreciate freedom of speech. But evidence we've seen casts considerable doubt on those claims. In fact, this website has disturbing links to an online network used by Russian hackers. Experts believe it's nothing more than an outlet for their stolen data. The latest DNC hacks began in April. The DC leak site was registered on the 19th, almost certainly before anyone but the hackers knew what was going on. Then it lay dormant until June 8th, again several days before the hacking was publicly disclosed. Since then, it's been leaking the emails of key Clinton staffers and supporters, including the personal account of former Secretary of State Colin Powell. Experts say the website's timing is just too much of a coincidence. We have leaked content um, obtained through the same type of attack mechanisms we've seen Russian hackers use elsewhere. And then we have a pattern of registration in terms of the way that the website was set up and where it was registered and how it was registered that matches other patterns of Russian hacks. So what do we know about the site itself? Far from being born in the USA, it was registered with a small internet company in Romania. So small, in fact, that DC Leaks is one of only a few hundred websites they've registered on that computer server. What are the others? Well, several have been used in previous hacking campaigns attributed to Russia. The Romanian internet company told us they only handled the website's names, not their content or operation. DC Leaks didn't respond to us. The Russian embassy again stressed to us the lack of evidence provided by their American accusers. To block, disrupt, State hacking is now centre stage. Chancellor Philip Hammond today outlined a new cyber security strategy. As experts warn, Russia sees politics as a new online battleground. I think that we shouldn't be indifferent to this political activity because it does have a long-term aim. The long-term aim is to strengthen Russia and weaken the Western alliance. The Western alliance is absolutely crucial to our security and to our confidence in each other. It's designed to undermine trust. Trust, it seems, in short supply. The Democrats are now calling on the FBI to investigate Donald Trump's links to Russia. In the end, what's new isn't the cyber attacks, it's the increasing brazenness with which it's being thrown online for all to see.